Hello everyone, welcome to William and the Magic Box. Today on our show, we are going to have Rui. Rui is from Porto in Portugal. So let's see what Rui has to say. Enjoy the interview. Hello. Hi. Hello, Rui. How are you? I'm good. And you? Very well. Thanks so much for taking the time today for the interview. Thank you. No problem. No problem. My pleasure. How are you? How's everything going? Good, yeah, it's a good, it's a good day in London. It's quite warm today. It's been raining a few days last week. I think the summer somehow it's shy to just, you know, step in. <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's been great. It's been a good day. It's Friday now, so it's been good. How about your day? Excellent. How is it so far? Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. I'm, I'm now I'm temporarily based in Barcelona, so the weather is a bit weird. Also, sometimes it rains. Hot, humid, I don't know, it's a mix, <laughs> mixed feeling, you know, you never I look to the sky and I'm like, oh, so now, it's, now it's sunny, but an hour ago it was, it was uh, cloudy, I don't know, it depends. <laughs> it's, a weird, um, it's a weird summer here, it's been a very yeah. weird summer. In London, mm. in London as well, actually, in England as well, it's been raining, sometimes warm like today, suddenly a lot of rain. This morning when I wake up, I went to work, it was literally raining, like I didn't think it would be sunny. And now it's it's a beautiful day, stunning yeah, day outside. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. tell me where where are you from, Hui? I'm from the beautiful city of Porto, Portugal. I'm originally Portuguese, but I left the country like gazillions blue moons ago. <laughs> oh my God! I lived in Portugal, in Porto, for five years yeah. before moving to London. So no Porto. Way. For Porto for me, it's it's such a uh, it always will be, have a beautiful place in my heart. I'm so grateful that life brought me to Porto before coming to England because for five years there, I literally had the best time of my life. Portugal, Porto, mm. you know, it has a beautiful place in my heart. I love Porto. I go there all the time. I was there for my birthday last year. So you know, mm. whatever I can, well, I go. Portugal. Uh, as, as we say, I'm tripeiro, so I'm, I'm 100%, 100%, 300% in Porto until I was 30. Then I oh. left the country when I was 30, 16 years ago. So oh. it's been a, it's been a good ride. <laughs> so tell me where, so you are in Barcelona right now, but where are you based usually? Where is your place where you live right now? Honestly, around the world. <laughs> I lived, yeah, so I, I lived uh, 12 years in Dubai. Now I live between Egypt and uh, Barcelona. So I, there's a little uh, small city called Guna in the Red Sea. Beautiful. It's like a hidden gem in the world uh, in the Red Sea. Uh, so I live between the Red Sea, between Barcelona, between Bahrain. And sometimes I go to Porto. <laughs> oh, oh. And why so, this adventure of living in different countries? Tell me a little bit why. Oh, it's just, it just, just, you know, being on the right place at the right time. I used to put, I used to work in the satellite industry. So I was hired back in the days before I started my own business. I was hired to, to, to manage. I, they were looking for a Portuguese speaking person. I was looking to expand my horizons and embrace a new adventure. So I said, why not to buy at that time? My parents were like, oh, you're lunatic, you're gonna crazy. You're gonna go to a country that you don't know no one. And I said, well, not knowing anyone, it's, it's just a challenge, it's not an obstacle. So, and on that note, it started from there. Then from, I was a bit bored of living in a big city with COVID gaming. And I said, I don't wanna live in a big city. So I changed and transformed my life completely. I created my own business. And then I found out this beautiful, I can't, I can't highlight how beautiful is this place called Guna. And uh, I went to visit, I fell in love, literally. I packed up my stuff from, Guna, from Dubai, moved to Guna. And then Barcelona, it's a fun city. I, I have a place here. So I like to jump in and out of the city. So I realized that, I'm not a man of a city uh, only, so I like to jump from one place to and, and the other. And I build up my life based on that. So I build up my, it's not a matter of coincidence that I am where I am. It's a matter of decision, thoughts, and I only have one life. I'm not going to live it and trying to live it the best that I can. So Guna is a city in Egypt? Yeah, 
It's a sm- it's a privately owned city in the they call it the Red Sea Riviera. So it's beautiful. It's twenty thousand uh, residents, you know. But uh, I drive a little golf cart in the city. Very safe. Uh, it's in Egypt, but it's not. It, it, everybody speaks English, you know. It's very well maintained. There's a huge amount of expats living there. It's just stunning, you know. No, no pollution, no fast fishing, no nothing. So like, it's just, it's like you're back in time, but with good quality and, and good facilities and, and so on. Amazing. So tell me a little bit about your career, your business. No, oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a that's a long story, like in a uh, short a short version. Yeah, in a short <laughs> version. So basically, I'm the uh, the founder of Balanced Rebel, and head coach. So Balanced Rebel it's an online health coaching company that helps individuals to transform their ordinary habits into an extraordinary life. Understanding that we need energy to live, and we can't make our own energy. That's a given fact, right? And what drives us on it every day, it's the, the energy we have. And what fuels those, uh, uh, that energy or, or our, our tank is those ordinary habits that we keep repeating, sleep, nutrition, movement, stress management, time management, joy, you know? And we tend to underestimate the power of these habits in how can sustain our performance, both individually and professionally. Right. And if we don't take care of our energy tank, which is like our life currencies, energy is our life currency. At some point, you're going to go bankrupt or burned out, as most people are doing. So I created Balanced Rebel with the assumption that it's balanced because there's time for everything. There's time to drink alcohol. There's time to uh, party. There's time to work. There's time to rest. There's, there's enough time for everything as long as you know how to plan and prioritize important things non-negotiable and rebel in the sense that we're rebelling against our own belief system that we can i'm too old our best days are gone or our my energy is declining from moving forward is just down the hill so any limiting behavior that we build up in our brain it's we're rebelling against it because in the end of the day aging is a reality but aging stronger depends yep. on the how we'll, we manage our ordinary habits so that we can live an extraordinary life. Uh, before that, I used to put satellites in space. I used to be part of uh, the team that would uh, build up uh, satellites and, and put them in space and then sell wow. the capacity until I decided I don't want to do this anymore. I've been doing 20 years of uh, top executive in satellite companies. And I decided I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to live in a big city. I don't want to live in a plane. I'm tired of hotel rooms. You know, I'm 40 at that time. I was 43. I, I like, I have 40 something years ahead of me and I want to enjoy them well. And, uh, and that's how everything started. My career started and I've been doing very good. In 2021, I won the leadership in health coaching award worldwide. In 2022, I was nominated one of the top five coaches to look at by Herald Entrepreneur. In 2023, I was uh, accepted by the Emirates Group to, to give health coaching sessions to all the Emirates Airlines and, and all these things. And, um, and here we are. The journey is still the beginning. We're just starting. <laughs> My God, I can tell you are a busy man. And that's yeah. your busy man adventures. And I, I love that. I love when you have the opportunity and you are brave to change careers, to start something new, something that's going to feed your soul, going to feed your yeah. life. I think it's great for, you know, for us to take those opportunities that just, you know, come to our lives. It's a challenge, right? I tell you, because yeah. you, you, you have to have the, the nerves, the courage, the courage, yeah. right? To look back and I said, Oh, am I going to break down my financial stability and all my commitments and all yeah. these things and, and suddenly start from the scratch? But I can only say that even though it's been very tough and I had to deal with my inner demons and my own obstacles that and my own limiting beliefs, right? I have never been so creative uh, in my life as I've been in the last three years. And that puts me in a place of, I'm extremely energetic. My performance has never been the best, and 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 so on. 
Amazing. Okay, so for the join, I'm going to explore a little bit more about your life and also about your career, okay? Mm -hmm. Rui, are you ready to go on a beautiful journey through your memories in life and to share your point of views? Yes, I, I was born for that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Welcome to William and the Magic Box. So, this is my best friend. from the fun questions i'm just mm -hmm. gonna play a song now just for us to relax a bit before the first question okay all oh, right yeah. bring it on okay, let's go okay we, before we start the game during the join if it comes up a question that you don't want to talk about some reason you don't want to answer always can change okay perfect first question for you is if you could spend the entire day with a family member who that would be and why my niece Oh, <laughs> I don't have a big family, so it's very easy. My niece, for sure, because she's fun, right? And uh, she doesn't get this uh, allostatic stress, the load of complications and problems and dramas. She's just young and she's full of energy. And I, I like people that brings something different to the table, right? Not someone that's always complaining or, or annoyed with this and that. So that's very easy. My niece, definitely. <laughs> wow. And she's back in Portugal, in Porto. She's actually moving to London uh, in, the, in, the, in September. She's, she's from Lisbon, but she's moving to London uh, in, the, in the beginning of September, I believe, to do her master's. Mm. Wow, amazing. Okay, next question. Let's do it. Hey, Rui, next question for you is, what's the biggest difference between you and your best friend? Oh, I think I'm stubborn. <laughs> I'm more stubborn than my friends and I'm very tough so my friends are a bit more like easygoing I have a very tough character so I would say the difference between my best friends which are actually the, the two um, it's, it's the fact that I'm a bit stubborn so sometimes they, they need to be a bit more soft on the way they manage me because I, I can be very aggressive <laughs> and what's the biggest similarity? oh the love for electronic music Really? Oh yeah, big time. We every year we take five days just for the, us to make sure that we go to a music festival and enjoy the music festival and that kind of unites and everything around it, satellites around it. So the three of us have like a big deep love mm -hmm. for electronic music. And they are Portuguese as well or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. One lives in London actually, and the other one lives in Lisbon, and I'm from Porto, funny enough. <laughs> Wow. When you guys get together in London, let me know, okay? Yeah, well, we, well, we do music festivals. We just did one in Guna, actually, but normally we do it sonar. We have done BPM. So every year we've been doing this for like 12 years or something. Every year, non-stop. Even during COVID, we managed to find a place where we got the DJs for the three of us just to play. <laughs> oh, that's so amazing. this is something we take very serious. Every year we plan these days very religiously. And until now, uh, God bless, uh, not, nothing has been broken. Mm. Oh, that's amazing. I love to hear that. I think it's amazing to have those bonds with our friends and yeah. make sure this once a year or a few times a year, you get together and spend some time together. I think that's very important. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Next question, Hui, let's do it. Before the next question, tell me um, what's the biggest uh, part of your job that you enjoy the most? What's the biggest joy of it? And the flip side, what do you find most challenging? Oh, okay. So there, it's easy. So the best the, the, the best of my job, uh, obviously, uh, taking the finance uh, or, or, uh, apart, is to see people's transformation. Awesome. You know, people seeing that, oh, uh, I can't do it or I'm failing or some people come to me and I say, don't waste your time with me. And I'm saying, I'm not, I'm not wasting my time. I'm actually investing my time. And investing in you, investing your time in transforming yourself, and see people that come to me and mostly with emotional stress or burned out or, or sleep disorders, and and seeing the evolution, the transformation. That's it's very rewarding. It's being at the table, and I said, you have no idea how you change my life, how you transform the way I see and perceive life itself. It's fantastic. The flip side, it takes a lot of my energy. So in some cases, there's sessions where 
I get completely drained because the amount of energy I have to put in to help others understand their journey or their path, even though I never say to anyone how they should be living because it's their life. The amount of energy that sometimes you have to bring them to a little bit to clarity so that they can see it's a lot. And, and sometimes I get very exhausted or drained because of that situation. It's not very often, but I already know the complicated cases. So I prepare myself from a stress point of view in order to come out of the session, not as drained, but okay, a little bit more manageable. All right. Next question for you is, if you could be in somebody's place, somebody's skin for 24 hours, who that would be and why? Oh, that's, that's, a, that's a tough one. So if I could be in someone's shoes for yeah. 24 hours, oh, does it need to be alive? Nope. <laughs> oh, does it need to be alive? Mm. No, could be anyone. I, I don't know. That's, that's, a, that's a tough one. Well, okay, I'm going to say Alexander the Great. Yeah, Come just because I think he was a great, uh, was a, was a great historical person. I, I know I've read a couple of books and I think the guy was really fantastic. And the ability to build up an empire back in the days and, and have a city under his name. Why not? <laughs> I might really? have a city in my name. <laughs> <laughs> Hui, when you think about yourself, when you're analyzing yourself, what's the best part of being Hui? What's the biggest, you know, when you think about, you know, this is my big strength or what's something that you are very proud of? Oh, I, I, I'm a people's person, right? So you can easily drop me anywhere. I'll be friends and make friends with everybody because I, I, I think the best inheritance that my parents gave to me is the education right and when you're you're a gentle nice person and you like to talk like i do and i can talk god i can talk uh you know if you drop me somewhere i'll make sure that i'll be able to uh, uh be empathetic and and, and 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 create friendships easily so i'm good to people get acquainted to me and i get acquainted to others and start talking and being not friends but you know I can easily, you know, as my as my friend said, I go out in the street. Everybody knows me because I speak to everybody. So from the <laughs> poor guy, the beggar, to the to the policeman or anyone, I'm gonna say hi, how are you, and be curious about how they're living, how they are. It's just my natural thing. What's your star sign? Oh uh, wait, uh, Aries. Ar oh, interesting. Wow. Yeah. yeah, very communicative for sure. That's for yeah. sure. Yeah. Well, we are. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am for sure. <laughs> Next one. Hey, we from Portugal. Next question for you is: Describe yourself in one positive word and one negative word only. Oh, negative, stubborn, right? <laughs> Again, Can be positive. Uh, the positive one, um, committed. Hmm. You always been very like yeah i'm very like i'm very goals oriented very competitive i'm very disciplined so if i have something in my in in my mind i will not derail on that i will not i i self-motivate myself or self-motivation can be another word you know so i don't i don't like to fail I, it's like this is the way like the mandalorian say this is the way how was growing up um back in Porto, walk me through a little bit about your childhood. What do, when you think about it, what's the best memory that comes to your mind? What's the challenge that you faced at the time? Oh, growing in Porto was fun. Uh, you know, Porto back in the days was a, a small city. It's the second biggest city of Porto, but it's still a very small city, yeah. right? So I, I grew up playing in the street with other kids and beating each other and, and having fights and making friends. And, you know, and, and so that, for me, growing up in the streets, not that I was homeless, but my thing was, I want to be in the street. I don't want I wanna, I wanna to be playing outside with the other kids. So that brings you that kind of, I think my personality of being able to deal with different characters and personalities because I'm used to it. Um, the challenge was I, I was uh, at that time I was the only child in the neighborhood from divorced parents. Uh, we're talking back in 1980. 
I was 1983 when I was right six, seven years. Now I'm the only kid, so it was a little bit challenging for me to, even though that was my reality, having mom on one side and dad on the other side. And then I guess that was the biggest challenge and and coolest memories. It was my grandmother, because uh, you know she she used to have a farm, so killing chickens and rabbits and doing wine and and all, all these things that I don't do nowadays. <laughs> but, Back in the day, it was as a kid, it was the best thing in the world you can have is give me a farm and animals and opportunity to play and 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 that was something that nowadays I look back and I I think the kids do not have that chance as I, as I had. Absolutely, and so interesting because um, I arrived in Porto in 2002, and I remember that you know the seat the only tourists we could see that at the time was Spanish people like the border. Yeah. <laughs> Nowadays, oh my God, Porto is it's, it's, it's it's everywhere in the world. People yeah. talk about not the sport, but Portugal itself. You know, I don't know if it's because Cristiano Ronaldo, because, you know, those big art like Madonna living in Lisbon, all those people, you know, somehow mm. find out about Portugal. And now Portugal, it's everywhere. People know where Portugal is. And, mm. you know, the, the, the country itself and Port, my goodness, Porto is such a beautiful, romantic mm full of tour, like people, they a whole Europe, I think two years ago, was considered the, one of the most visited cities. Yeah, so, 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 yeah. The, yeah. I, I remember I remember when I was a student in the university and we used to go to Ribeira, which is the... the yeah. Ribeira right? was yeah. probably the worst place you would go, but we used to go there because it was very cheap to drink shots. So we used to go there and for, for 50 cents and we used to drink a lot of shots to get a little bit more happy you know so that when you go to the club spend less money you know things that kids do back and and i look back and if there was one tourist one with like like <gasps> where did you come from why you're here you know why you're in porto like no one comes to porto except us <laughs> so it's, in, it's international city now you know mm -hmm. it's it's so beautiful to walk around porto and see so many languages around true. people talking and true. taking pictures and it's beautiful it's beautiful mm, true, true, true. next question let's do it right next question is oh what has been the lowest point of your life oh the lowest point of my life uh i, I the lowest is also the, the 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 point that gives you the kick to change, right? Because darkness is nothing more than the absence of light. So the lowest point of my life is also the starting point of where I am now, right? So when I was stranded in Portugal for COVID, right, and I used to live in Dubai and I could not access my my cats, my house, my relationship was there. So I was I was stranded at my mom's house for three months and a half, you know. The world stopped and I'm thinking that oh, this is the worst thing that could have happened to me. And now I look back and that was actually the best thing that happened to me, right? Because at that moment I thought, oh, I'm in the darkness. I can't move my house. I can't I access my job. I can't access anything uh, like everybody else, right? And then I used that time. Lucky for me, I, I was uh, courageous enough to do the emotional reprogramming and start from the scratch. And that's what took me. But the lowest point in my life, it's when everything collides. You, you planned everything. You planned your career. You planned your vacations. You planned everything. And suddenly everything falls apart and you, you're, you're left with chaos. Right? Yeah. And chaos is the absence of organization so, or order. Right? So on that, I would say that when, when you felt down in chaos, that's the lowest point in your life. But also, it's a, 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 an opportunity to build something new, to paint a new painting and a new future. And that's exactly what I did because with COVID, the project I was working stopped and I was stranded. Uh, I had planned so many things, I had so many plans, so many trips planned, everything fall apart. And I felt so lonely and, 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 and abandoned. But no one abandoned me, right? I just me, myself, and I thinking about it. So I think that was the that the point where I thought that oh this is the end like why why me you know like oh. see okay right I have three questions left for you let's do All it right. <laughs> bring it on <laughs> the 
for the next question, um, Rui, as you're talking about, you know, careers change, everything in your life, when, when was the moment that you realized, okay, it's, I'm going to change career, I'm going to change my life? Did, did something happen or naturally you just start exploring and see that you could do something different in your life? No, it was actually a synchronicity of events, you know? I don't think that things happen by a coincidence. I think there's somewhere, somehow, the universe, let's call it the universe to be for whoever believes in, in, in whatever belief system they have. The universe is a plan for you, right? So back in the day, I was considering, so I, I put myself on sabbatic um, and I enjoyed life for three years. I had a fantastic time. And then when I was considering going back to the corporate world, I asked an opinion to a friend, what should I do with, uh, you know, just give me a, a hint. Uh, and at that time, I had a, a very a previous uh, Instagram profile, very successful, successful with like 80, 86,000 followers or something, just doing workout videos, right? And I said, why don't you help your 43 and you, you're a good looking guy and uh, you're maintaining a good shape and all these things. Why don't you help other people aging stronger? And I thought that that time, eh, I'm not really sure I want to do this. And then the next day, and trust me, I saw the, I probably see the shittiest shows on the planet, right? And I was so, I was watching the, the real housewife of Beverly Hills. That's how bad I like the shows. And, and there's one girl that has a new job. It is an accountability coach. And I thought, I'm very curious. I said, oh, what, what, the, what in the world is an accountability coach? So I went to check and I said, ah, I don't see myself being an accountability coach. But I came across, across with the health coaching situation. And I said, I can see myself doing that because I already do that for myself for the last 43 years. So this is something I can relate to. By coincidence, I start searching and the next day I come across with the, the largest nutrition school in the world, which is in New York. And I called them and the lady said, listen, you sign up today or you need to wait six months. Wow. And I said, this cannot be a coincidence. So three days ago, I speak with a friend of mine that suggests me this. The next day I see a show with someone that is doing that. Then I search a little bit about this. And then I come to the the largest in nutrition school in the world that tells me it's either today because it's the last day or you don't. And I signed up and two weeks within the course, I decided the halal because at that time I was still a bit confused. Am I going to go back or not to the corporate world? And I said, within, within two weeks of being in the course, I said, that's it. I'm going to start my new career from the scratch now. So it was a synchronicity of events that lead me to where I am today. And when people ask me, how long have you been doing this? Honestly, I've been doing this all my life because I've been health coaching myself for the last 40, 46 years of my life. Wow, beautiful. Okay, next question for you is, do you know anyone who is living their life to the fullest? Me. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you'd say that. Some, for some reason, I knew you would say that. Pick me. <laughs> Why is, is that? Is it perfect? Is it perfect? Absolutely not. Does it have... Everything I want, absolutely not far from that. But I'm a very happy human being. I know where I'm going to go. I manage my habits in ways that bring me energy, fulfillment, and happiness and joy. And do I have a perfect life? No, but perfect life do not exist. This is something that fairy tales invented, right? I go to bed with a smile on my face. I wake up with a smile on my face. I do the things I love. I enjoy living my own life. And that's why I said I live my life to the fullest. Doesn't mean do I live the perfect life, no. But I do live my life to enjoying everything, the small and the big things that life has to offer. Having into, taking into consideration all the variables that I have to play now. That's what I call gratitude. That's how you live. Yeah, yeah. Two questions left. Let's do it. Bring it on. All right. We next question is, if you could go anywhere in the world right now, right this moment, where would you go and why? In the world? Anywhere. Mm, in the world. All right. That's a, that's a good one. 
Where would I like to be? <laughs> All right, Antarctica. Tell me why. Never been. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> what better reason I need for that? <laughs> Very good. I love the answer. And you're gonna go there sometime soon, or there's not there, but ah, it's, not... Ah, it's, in, it's on my wish list. Honestly, it's on my wish list of going there. Obviously, I haven't done. It requires capital, time. You know, a lot of things that uh, starting a company doesn't doesn't ha have that ability. But yeah. it's on my wish list. I, I I had the chance of traveling around the world in my previous life. But uh, now, like, I, there's a few spots that I'd like to say. Hmm. That's the one. Amazing. Okay. Ready for the last one? Yeah, I was born ready. Last question. <laughs> Would you hear the music sometime or not? Not at all? No, no, nothing. No music. I just see you dancing. I, I can show you what I'm playing right now. I'm sure you know her. I'm sure. Uh, I... <laughs> I love her. Shusha is my biggest idol. You I love, love Shusha? Of course, I'm a. I grew up with her. You know what I mean. Yeah, I grew up with you. I guess you're Brazilian, right? Because from your of accent, course. Like, you got it. Mm. Before the last question, um, through your career as a, a health coach, tell me a moment or a situation that you're never gonna forget. A moment like with your clients, a feedback, something that you always gonna have a special place in your heart. Oh, well, it's um, you know. Uh, it's when you when you when your clients become your friends and it's going to happen and you're at the table and i have a, a lot of situations like that and out of the, the blue they come and they say how loud i said you transformed and changed so many lives at this table All right and and and, and you you're caught off guard I'm like oh my god am i going to cry am i going to tear <laughs> you know so this is something that it nurtures my heart, you know, that uh, seeing the evolution. And I coach, I coach from 15 to 70 years old. This is the range of people I coach, right? So I have a big range and, and people coming and thank me for, look, you really transform and change my life in ways that I was not even able to imagine. And I didn't do anything. They did all the work. I just facilitate, I just be a guide by their side helping them on their own journey and finding their own life. I'm not telling them how they should be living, but this kind of nurture my soul, obviously, and it, it's very rewarding. Let's see. Beautiful. Last question is, what is the best present I have ever received? The best present I have ever received. Can I say the present? Can I say the present I want to have that I still didn't receive? Could be, why not? A lightsaber, a real one. Not a fake one. Huh? I want the <laughs> real lightsaber <laughs> from Star Wars. Huh? Because my parents one time gave me a salt and pepper that looked like a lightsaber and I thought I was so happy. And then I realized it's just salt and pepper. So I got very disappointed. <laughs> and I really want to have a lightsaber, but a real one. Not those that puts the thing in. No, I want the real lightsaber. Lightsaber. I never heard that before. Like, what's light, lightsaber? It's like a lightsaber. You know Star Wars? I'm a big Star Wars fan. Oh, that's why. So, yeah. That. Oh, I see. I see. I got it now. <laughs> I got now. I got it. I was confused. <laughs> I want a late a lightsaber. That, oh, that would be the present of my life. <laughs> oh my God! People watching the interview right now, your friends, your family. Now you're gonna receive a lot at the end of the year. I hope so, because I've been begging for that. <laughs> There we go. There we go. People are gonna go like now. I know what I'm gonna give to him for present for Christmas. There we go. There we go. Lightsaber, but the real one, one that works. There we go. Like preferably signed for one of the actors. Yes, <laughs> I would mind. I would mind. I'm a, I'm a big Star Wars fan. Big time. Big time. Very, very quick. Which which character is your favorite? Oh, I'm Solo, of course. Okay. And R two D two, the robot. I even I even have it tattooed on my arm. Here oh, on top wow. of my birthday, because I was born on the same year that the movie premiered. That tells you how much I like Star Wars. Wow. wow. Okay, it's not the end yet. Let's play now the word association game. Okay, I'm going to give away some words. Just tell one word that comes to your mind. Quick thinking, okay? Mm -hmm. Let's start with friendship. Love. Money. Responsibility. Family. Problems.
Love. Commitment. Life. Joy. Sex. Pleasure. Politics. Complication. Religion. More complication. <laughs> Fear. Uh, courage. Desire. Passion. Regret. Grudge. One word for success. Achievement. Wish. Thoughts. Happiness. Joy. One word for Barcelona. Sin City. So one word for Guna. Paradise. One word for Porto. Oh, birth by hometown. Portugal, one word. Oh, uh, uniqueness. And the last one now, health coach, one word. Transformation. Beautiful. Let's pretend now I'm going to meet your other two best friends. We're going to go for a house <laughs> night, dance a lot all <laughs> night. In the middle of the night, we are dancing, three of us, and I'm going to go like, oh, tell me something. Define who in one positive word and one negative word, what they would say. Oh, well, one positive word that they, they all miss me when they're partying without me. <laughs> <laughs> I always get messages like, oh, I wish you were here. Um, uh, one positive word, uh, companionship. And one negative word, uh, I can be, uh, they, call, they call me the, the taxi bitch because I'm always concerned about the taxi. <laughs> we're going to lose the taxi and I don't want to go and wait for a taxi. So I'm overthinking, that would be the word. You are always the one who get lost in the party. Yeah? yeah, and I'm always the one finding them and like making sure that everything works as planned. So I'm the organizer. That, yeah. Amazing. Let's play now. Who in the magic box? And you can ask me a question. All right. So I'm now it's me asking you the questions. Yes, but before you ask me the question, tell me what's your favorite Portuguese word? The one that I say the most often. <laughs> <With that>? this? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god oh my god when i was in porto when i was in portugal i realized that people say that a lot <laughs> you know i uh, one time i i do a lot of sports and one time i was fighting a, a mma fighting in the ring and i i say i i swear a lot in portuguese right and and i i'm, I'm being beaten up by my trainer and i said what and then, and I came out of the ring and this, this girl come to me and said, you're Portuguese, right? <laughs> because I'm the only one here that's swearing like there's no tomorrow. And I said, got it right. Right, you can ask me a question now, Hui. All right. How's your relationship with life? Good question. My relationship with life? Mm. I love the question. My goodness. I don't know, never anybody asked me this question yet. And I'm going to reach 1,000 interview very soon. <laughs> <Wow. Woo -hoo! laughs> love that. I love the question. My goodness. I got goosebumps now. A little bit. So powerful question. Oh, my God. Look, goosebumps. My goodness. Mm. Beautiful question, Rui. Beautiful question. And I'll tell you why. My relationship with life, it's um, something very powerful. We have our relationship is with my life. It's always... Um, challenging it's always friendly it's always um you know um the relationship is always pushing me not to stop the relationship has sometimes um put me back said okay you know what be kind to yourself you are you are pushing too far try to relax so i think my relationship with my life is a mix of feelings is a mix of you know um growing like you know self as I said about self-love self-growing and life always um you know uh, never let me you know get lost on my thoughts like always push me somehow if i'm get too slow or get my comfort zone literally i have this push of my life say oh you're getting there it's so interesting your question because actually this last last week i was thinking about that 
you know, I it's suddenly I just felt like, oh my God, I've been doing the show now for two years and I've, I've got some other plans and it's, ta- it's, it's time now to, you know, get out of mm-hmm. my comfort zone. So that's when life said, William, come on, it's time now. So the relationship of my life is that it's always there. I know that, you know, it's, I have a phrase that says, you know, sometimes, um, you know, the universe, whatever you, you believe, gonna show you, like think, okay, mm-hmm. you need to change, you need to do something about your life, or you need to, you know, to start something new, or any, any fields. But if you don't see the message, life is gonna step in. Mm-hmm. Life is gonna go there, you're gonna go, you know what? You don't have any more excuse, it's time now. Somehow, okay. life is gonna put you there, like, okay, could be a challenge, could put you, you know, in a situation that you don't know how to deal with, and that's, it's life talking to you. That's when life is it's showing okay it's time for you to go in a different direction somehow it could be you know different fields different things yeah. personal yeah it could be anything i love the question so my answer to you is the, the, the my relationship with life it's about it's it's a relationship that um it's very real real it's very real my mm-hmm. relationship with my life there are no excuse there are no like you know um cheating as they say they're not cheating mm-hmm. life is there life the relationship of my life is always there real it's a real uh, relationship that it doesn't give me it's there to comfort me at the same time it's always it's, it's there to give my hard time if i need to so that's my answer to you can i ask a second question may i ask a second question? just because you are from porto <laughs> <laughs> just because i'm from porto and if you could change one thing that could improve your relationship with life what Good would be that one thing um um i think if i could it be Good question as well. Put me in the spot again. Um, I think if I could change our relationship with my life, it's. Um, hmm. I think sometimes when life puts me on the wall, I tend to like, okay, you know, okay, push me on the wall. I think I'll change um, uh, the way for me to deal with that. Sometimes I, I find myself, you know, I'm always on the go. Like, I, I'm like you, I can see your energy, I can feel your energy. I, I'm kind of the same as well. I think if I could change the relationship in my life, it's about that. Sometimes it's slow down, like literally it's slow down. Give myself like a day, okay, I'm not going to think about anything today. I'm just going to uh, enjoy myself. And I find mm-hmm. so hard yeah. about that. And I think the relationship with my the li- my life is not, it's not there yet because I didn't see the... I know it's there, but I, I still don't get it you know what i mean because mm-hmm. it's when you do something with passion when you when you are very proactive you know as you know very well it's difficult sometimes to not doing anything yeah. so if i could change the relationship with my life okay to show me somehow you know, not show me because i know sometimes you just need to stop you know but somehow to to show me the the right direction i will change that because you know, I just on the go, I just go, go. It, again, comes from a good place because you are doing something that you like, but you need to remember that it, you need, to, it's not just up to you. Everything needs to work together. The universe, the weather, you know, the atmosphere, the, the world, the people around you, everything needs to connect together to get to everything flow at the same right. time. That's how I see. But it's difficult to get this lesson. It's difficult to get this lesson. Yeah, just, I, I hear you. I hear you. you just want to do it. And uh, that's yeah. something that I would change with my relationship with life. That's just to somehow maintain this balance, you know. So I'm getting better, actually. To be honest to you, nowadays, I can let myself to sleep a little bit longer, but just a little bit, not like, mm-hmm. you know. Or I, I let myself sometimes to go, you know what, I can, you know, do something that I haven't planned, for example. If I have a schedule for the day, if I miss something in the past, I'll be so, give myself such a hard time. But nowadays I go like, okay, wait, you are doing a lot already. So relax, you know, I mean? if you miss something, you can do it tomorrow. You can manage somehow. Right. I've been learning that, but it's not yeah. there yet. It's not there yeah, yet. Yeah, I hear you. We, we tend to be a bit tough with ourselves. Uh, totally. When it comes to, to uh, acknowledging our own progress. And Absolutely. sometimes uh, I hear you. Absolutely. <laughs> Did you enjoy right. the interview, Hui? I loved it. I loved it. I hope you enjoyed my, my participation. <laughs> I love it. Absolutely. I'm so glad we connected. And so nice. Definitely. To... Thanks for reaching out to me. Thanks for reaching Absolutely. out to me. Absolutely. Yeah. It's good to have someone from, you know, such a lovely city that, um, you know, Porto for me, it's, um, you know, it meant, to, it meant, Porto is a present that meant to be my life. And I'm so glad mm. that we connected. But yeah. before you can share a positive message or anything that you live by. Well, well, just have in mind that uh, we need energy to live. 
and mm -hmm. no matter what good intentions you have what aspirations you want to have or where do you want to be there will be no way you'll be reaching there if you do not have the energy and the tank filled with energy that will help you reach your target so look to your energy at the same way you look to your bank account and manage your energy the same way you manage your money money gives you choices energy gives you even more choices so if you want to really transform your life if you want to become the best version of yourself if you want to become wilson or william 2.0 who 2.0 3.0 4.0 whatever version you want to be have in mind that without energy you won't reach anywhere and you're going to be sitting complaining about how life is how you should be where do you want to be how to work and all these things you end up living a life not to the fullest so energy is the currency of life so make sure you become the richest person in the living world wow beautiful and look he knows what he's talking about okay <laughs> <laughs> Muito obrigado. Nada, nada, prazer foi meu. Tá? Tchau, tchau. Olha, foi um prazer com você. Tá? Eu tá, tchau. Eu te vejo em Londres, vou em Porto, algum lugar um dia, tá bem? Sim, 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 sim. Tchau, tchau. Um abraço, tchau, tchau. So, did you like the show? Don't forget to give a like, to share it, and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you'd like to be part of the show as well, first, subscribe to our channel, and after that, just go to our website, www.williamandthemagicbox.com and send us a request saying why would you like to be part of the show and I see you there. Bye-bye, see you next time.